Okay, so we're going to try and sneak our way in. Are you serious? Welcome, Blondies, to episode two of the Loner to Legend series. And here we are, back in the lovely, lovely zone. I'm a little bit thirsty after a long night's sleep. I think an emission has occurred, they usually do overnight. And we're also a bit hungry. Also quite normal. So last episode, I don't think I explained why it is that I got the multi-tool. Um, so let's talk about that for a quick hot second. Uh, the multi-tool is pretty much the be-all and end-all when it comes to disassembling any item that can be disassembled in the game. Um, you can disassemble armor and and other items with grooming kits or with the Swiss Army knife, but if you want to disassemble weapons, you need the multi-tool, and the multi-tool will disassemble everything. So uh, that's why I rushed so quickly to get the multi-tool, because we need a better weapon. And uh, the only way we're going to be able to do that is by breaking down existing weapons and uh, and fixing existing ones. So, I'll show you how that's done soon, all in good time. Um, let's get into the episode. I think what we're going to do this episode, it's nice and bright and early, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and find some better armor, something to um, boost our carry capacity, and uh, try and find that ever-elusive basic tools kit that we really, really need. Am I thirsty again? Oh my god. Thirsty, thirsty boy. Lucky we have a bit of cash. Let's go and get another drink. Why am I so thirsty? You can see that the village is slowly waking up again. We might have some more quests now. Tasks. You heard me. I said tasks. Good morning, Sid, you crazy bastard. What have you got for us? So you can see that we've bought pretty much all of the water that Sid had on offer. Um, vendors refresh every 48 hours, I believe it is, their inventory by default. You can change that in the settings. But uh, Sid's going to be dry for the rest of the day, so we need to make the most of what we've got. And let's see if he's got any interesting work for us. Yeah, not so much. Okay. Not that we expected anything less from Sid. Thanks, my man. Ooh. I don't know about that. Northeast of the machine yard. That seems kind of risky. I think we're just going to ignore that too. Now, from our last episode, we did have a task that Sid had given us. to grab a bunch of bandit patches. Hello. Hello. There we go. So we need to give him six faction patches from the bandits. And I think we had four. And we got three. Okay. So that's kind of forced us to go hunting. Which is cool. We can do that. And we should get some nice loot out of it, too. Everyone's awake this morning. Question is, are we going to make it very far without getting torn to pieces? Let's find out. Interesting. If they've come, if they've come walking along here, it could mean that the mutants may have been cleared out around here. I wouldn't bet on it though. Go for a bit of a jog. Because it's still a bit dark. 
uh, we might be able to see if the fire's lit down in the truck yard over here. Which should tell us whether um, bandits are around. And it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay. Alright then. Different plan. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. We don't really have. We don't have any vodka on us, we don't have any smokes. So, water is our only other way of getting rid of rads, and it can help in a pinch. Definitely worth remembering that. And it looks like we've gotten rid of all of our rads. Negative effect is gone. And what do we got here? Okay, so I'll show you the Swiss Army knife in a tick because I picked one up. Thank you for that. In the face. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. Right, so this is the Swiss knife I was referring to. Um, if you had just this, if you got your hands on something like this out of a stash, um, you could use this to break down low-level equipment, so just, just regular bits of junk like, you know, broken headlamps and things that you find. Um, you could also use it to break down uh, armor and materials, uh, but you can't break down weapons with that, which is why we have the multi-tool. Ooh, we have a fire lit down there. Who is down there? Friendly? Sounds like there's a fire lit over here, too. There is a guy over there. Who are you? A bandit. Okay. He has what we want. So we're going to see if we can sneak up on him. And put him out of our misery. Without getting shot by the military. That would be nice. Gonna say, is he sleeping? No, he's just chilling. Ruthless. We're just gonna grab everything and run. Because he might have friends. And we're irradiated still. Oh my god. Got anything for that? Let's get rid of that. Uh, will this actually... It will actually give us increased weight. For memory, coats don't actually have um, stalker patches on them, so you don't need to remember to take one off. They're just always neutral. Yep. And we have a face mask, which is broken beyond repair. We can't use that. We can't break it down. And 
well, if fate has given us a fire, then we might as well save. Right, so one of the best places to get some early armor would be the military. There's a huge encampment back down this way. They're very well armed. There's a crap ton of them. And going down there this early on is basically a death sentence, so we're going nowhere near that. Um, but we are going to the checkpoint to the north, which usually has maybe three tops. We can stock up at the farm here, maybe get a grenade or two to even the odds. And it might give us a chance, hopefully, to take them all out and loot some decent armor. I mean, it's not going to be in good condition, but it should allow us to carry a lot more than we currently can. Which, in my eyes, is a win. And there are a few other stashes that we can hit up on the way down there as well, so... I'm thinking we may actually hit those on the way back, just in case. If we do find some nice loot. We've got enough space to bring it all back. Had me worried there, buddy boy. That must be a fascinating wall. Привет, брат. Hey, oh. How are you doing? See, occasionally these guys won't work done for them. It's usually ridiculous, like a Colt 1911, a reliable Colt 1911, something in good condition. Yeah, right. Because if we had that, we'd be giving it to you, sure. We can actually sell that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stash this here. I'm gonna disassemble this. We might as well start building up um, a pool of disassembled stuff here for the time that we finally get our hands on a basic toolkit and can craft ourselves a backpack. We're going to need um, these items as well as some um, military textiles. Yeah, that's what we need. That sort of stuff. So that's why we're holding on to these tarpaulins. Um, the bedspread that I sold in the previous episode, we really should have hung on to that. Uh, I think, yep, these can potentially give us mil specs as well. Gloves? No. But the boots, definitely. So more stuff like this. More, more goods like this. More like this. That's the old mask we threw away. Alright, so... In order for this little sortie to be successful, I think we're going to get... No, we don't want that. I'm going to get some buckshot, and... Do I get a grenade? Because, I mean, I could kind of get the job done partially with an anti-personnel mine. Could I make that work? Hmm... I think we're going to get the grenade. Yep, we're committed. It's done. Okay. Cool. Hang tight, buddy. We'll be back. Yeah, of course. These are the bodies from last time. Bodies usually stick around for probably the same cycle as... Um, vendors have for their inventory restocks, so 48 hours. You'd need to leave an area and and come back maybe half a day later in order to force bodies to um, despawn. Doesn't always work, but uh, we'll put the patch in here. Not that we really need to. I'm going to leave the bar here as well. I mean, probably couldn't hurt to bring it, but whatever. Whatever. Right, so... Here's the fun part. If we run across here, are we going to get shot by anyone? Could 
because there are often people camping here. And if we're unlucky, it will be the military. We're just going to take it nice and easy coming in here. I want to hear if there's a fire. I don't think there is. I can't see one in the building. There's normally, there's another fire, a campfire in the building. So I'd normally be able to see that through the windows. So I'm pretty sure we're okay. But that doesn't mean that there aren't mutants here. I'm just going to check around us as well because mutants have insane hearing. Yes. Okay, so there's nothing here. Well, no one here. We hope there's things here. Lots of nice things. Oh, of all the times. Okay. Can, can we make it? To, is this shelter? Does this count as shelter? Please? Yes, okay, cool. While we're here, we might as well bust open some stuff. So, some areas that you go to, um, they'll have buildings like this, and they'll look like they should be shelter in storms, but they don't count. I don't know whether they were just missed when the mods were putting stuff in, but they just they look like there should be shelter and they're not and you'll go in there thinking you're cool and you'll keep waiting to see that message saying you're safe you're sheltered and it never comes and you die and that really sucks you can also check on your PDA too if you're not sure um, when you're out of shelter there'll be a little white objective marker showing you where the nearest shelter is which can be pretty handy can save you a lot of time running around like a headless chook. Nobody wants that. So, there was nothing up here. This is um, this is really continuing a poor form in the loot game department. Hopefully this storm doesn't last too long, because I really want to get back out there and find some sweet, sweet loot. How sweet? Super sweet. Yeah, you can see the, the waves, the emission waves, they come from the Chernobyl power plant back this way, and they just spread like a ripple outwards through the zone. It's kind of cool to watch, if you're still outside at that point and you're not dead. Or you've got a nice little opening like this to see through. Please hurry. You can see someone spent some time up here, thinking about their life choices. I wish we had some cigarettes. I really need some going up this way. Might not have been a bad idea to try and get some actually, but that's a bit too late now. We're committed. That sounded like a gunshot. we done? We're done. Okay. I 
Okay, we have more things. Which are fine enough, I suppose, but not really what we want. Alright. We're gonna... Oh, hello. Hmm. I've never seen a crow have anything on it. What I really meant to say was bullshit. Now we heard gunshots back up this way and I'm not sure if that means whether someone is coming down the main road. It's normally not a good idea to travel on the main road it can be quite irradiated. Uh, but it's a catch-22 because if you run through here, there are often mutants out here as well. So, what are you going to do? We just got to hope. We just got to hope that we're lucky enough. Be a stash up here somewhere. Is it you? It is. And there's nothing in there. What the hell is going on with the stash game? over here. So this is where the checkpoint is for the military. We're gonna go fuck them up. Maybe. Do you have to? Go away. Turn that software manager thing off and it still keeps on reactivating itself. Very annoying. Disappear. Come on. Okay, so we got our hands on our first cigarettes and we also got another upgrade kit. Cigarettes are good fine, but uh, the upgrade kit's kind of useless until later on, which is fine. And, you know, while we're here, we should have actually saved. That'd be a clever idea. That's using your head. Well done, Blondie. Okay, so we're gonna try and sneak our way in. Are you serious? This is going to go badly. No. That's the way it goes. We, we did. Okay. 
sneaky, creepy. Yeah. This guy is just... There's a third guy here somewhere, I reckon. Those guys needed some convincing. Wow. Okay. Well, it was always going to be risky coming up here. That emission really forced our hand. That was very poor timing. Very poor timing. But we couldn't go back. There was nowhere to go. We had to go forward. Okay, expert tools. Not basic tools. But we do need them at some point. Almost 20%. And we might have a decent shotgun here. Okay, what have we got here? This? This we can use. Okay. Now, now we're in business. Okay, so this will drastically increase our carry capacity. And it also means we can break this down. Okay, he's got a pretty crappy shot in that one, but that's fine. Cool. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's nice and all. We'll take it with us. Ooh. And the Sieg as well. I mean, that's, that's a pretty decent weapon. Let's just grab as much of this as we can. Yeah, I mean... I think I want that AK more than anything else. But I don't really want anyone to get their hands on this arm cell protector. Here's a little trick I learned, and it becomes more relevant um, the further you go into the zone when you get your hands on high-powered weapons, or you kill enemies with high-powered weapons um, that have been shooting at you. Quite often their buddies... Okay. Quite often their buddies will, um, will loot their corpse, and if you leave a high-powered weapon on their corpse, their buddies will take it and then use it against you. So one trick I've learned... Oh, that's right, you can't actually... You can't actually... These little one weapon, I think, that you can't break down. Hmm. Never mind. Actually, I'll show you with the, um... I'll show you with this shotgun. So, if you don't want them to use a weapon, just disassemble it. Just like that. And then all that's left are components, and enemies won't pick those up. But you know what? We will, because we can use those. You lucked out there, my friend. Yeah, well. 
Normally the military is here. This is, uh, this is a pretty abnormal spawn. I mean, it's not uncommon for bandits to be here, but... Um... Oh, hey. We didn't loot you. And we definitely want to. So this guy's got quite a lot of stuff on him. Um... We already have a fort. We're going to take this one because we can break it down. We'll take that too. Do we want to take the Walther? Hmm. Question is, can we? Let's try and take as much as we can and... Let's see how we go. So we'll free up a little bit of space just by breaking these down into their base components. We're going to need to do that anyway. The SIG I won't break down. Not just yet. Okay. That's right, and we can't save. Not here. But we can save here. <laughs> Thinking of my, uh, my other game, where I can just save anywhere I like. Not this time. And yet. Okay. Kind of a disappointing loot game for the start of uh, this series, but that's okay. We can we can come back from this. It's cool. It's good. We will overcome. And I still think we don't have any caffeine tablets. No, we don't. Okay. What we do have, though, are enough badges, enough faction badges to turn in this quest for Sid. Hmm. You know what? We're too overburdened. I'm just going to break this down. Should help us. Eh, not really. Not going to help us as much as I'd hoped. Is there anything else we can break down? Uh, not really. I suppose we could. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of going to be overburdened either way, so. You know, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. But we might as well lighten the load just a little bit. Okay. Oh, no. No. Why is this so irradiating? Oh. Come on, come on, come on. There is no way in hell that we are dying to irradiation. That's that's not going to happen. But gee, man, it's going to give it a red hot go. Holy crap! We may actually have to pop another cigarette. We don't want cats in the cordon. It's always a bit worrying when you see messages like that. Uh, yeah, I reckon... Wow, okay. We're still going to need to... We'll use water this time. Because we must be fairly... Yeah, there we go. It just disappeared. Oh. That's why I hate walking along the road. That section right back there is highly irradiated. Not good for your health. Should have taken the vodka. Should have had a drink. Oh, a pseudo dog. Yeah, there's that pseudo dog I mentioned last uh, episode. Oh, what's that down there? What is that? I see you. I see you. Oh boy. Yeah, 
we're not going to knife you, Spoonie. Come on. Okay, looks like regular dogs down there, I think. But we are not going to give them the time of day. Hell no. Oh. I see you. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Crap, we're still getting irradiated. Oh, my God. abandoned by the looks we definitely don't want a piece of that we don't want a piece of the cat yeah okay we're struggling we're struggling all right okay Oh, there goes the last of the first aid kit. start. And that'll be bandits over there. Oh, but we managed to get our stuff to safety. That is good. Chuck everything in our stash. We'll take the bandit patches back with us. All of that good stuff can stay here. Oops. I think I might want to keep that. Hmm. We'll keep those. No, oh, we don't need... Any of these, that'll be for our AK there. Which we may fix. I haven't decided. And we've got a dart as well. I don't really know if we'll bother with that. Okay. It was that steel wall. Alright. We're going to need to um, repair our multi tool. Its condition's looking a little bit rough, kind of like us. Uh, but we don't currently. We don't have a sharpening stone set, and I think we may have actually spent too much money and we can't afford one, can we? Yes, we can. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hooray! Something goes right. Okay. I'm going to use this on a multi-tool, so we... Let's go through that, shall we? Right-click, use, click on the multi-tool. You can see that um, just the base repair using the sharpening um, set by itself, base repair is 21%. Doesn't quite get us all the way up, but we can use any supporting components uh, that we have in our backpack uh, to assist in the repair. So I deliberately pulled out the steel wool because I know this adds quite a bit of repair bonus. So we click on that and we notice that it's almost now up to 100%. So if I go repair. And the steel wool's gone and our multi-tool is basically as good as new. And that's 
kind of us here, I think. I don't really think. Can we... What can we buy from you? Yeah, no, he doesn't have water or liquids or anything. That's fine. Actually, do we want to... I think we might just get... <laughs> I think we'll get a few more rounds of ammo because we did burn through a little bit for that fight. Didn't we? Is this a six shot? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's cool. That'll, that'll tide us over. What do you have? See, this guy's got a few things. This is why it's worth um, checking with all of the stalkers you meet. Just, just see what they got. Do we want to... Yeah, I mean, that's a bit too much for me to buy off you now, but if I had the cash, I probably would grab it. Shovels are extra metal, which you can use to craft into um, artifact lead line containers, among other things. And away we go. Now these guys, is there a guy up there? There's not. Normally there's a scout or something up there. Is he up there? He is. Is that him? Nope, that's bricks. I'm an idiot. Half tempted to go up here and see what's left. I mean, we did hear fighting, so there may be a body or two up here. Uh, along with a very unhealthy dose of radiation. But we do have vodka and pack of cigarettes now, so I think it's worth the risk. I think we're going to have a look. Uh, that might be it up there. What do I see? Okay, that's the pseudo dog. Yeah, he's been, he's been skinned. While we're here, we might as well head down to this camp, just to see if there's anything. This is the way we'll need to come when we head to the garbage. Did we check this? I can't remember if we checked this. Doesn't matter, because there's nothing here. I think we might have checked it already. Okay, more gunfire in the distance. One down here sounds like it might be coming from near the village. Zombies, maybe? Yeah. Let's find out. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is where the guy kind of lucked out. Okay. That takes some convincing. <laughs> I normally wouldn't waste the bullets. Um, that's not bad. I normally wouldn't waste the bullets, but we're in a, a pretty precarious position. And I don't really want to get stuck fighting these two with all of this shit around. No thank you. Nine Danka. And your helmet's pretty crappy. That's that's a decent a broken detector is a decent find. We will def and a grenade, thank you very much. Now, do we want to take the Toz? I think we will. Accuracy is good. Yeah. At the very least, we can break it down for parts. Now. 
Can I get close enough to, ugh, to loot these guys? I can. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, because there were zombies in here, it may indicate... Yep, I think I have more zombies. There we go. Really got to give them that double tap of love. Zombies are always worth going for, especially early on, because they usually have bandages and med kits and, and cash on them. Um, and if we weren't fighting in an enclosed area, I'll show you a little trick as well that I learned from um, a couple of the content creators online. Which is pretty handy. You can kill them um, while conserving ammo, just using the knife. Can be a bit tricky, requires a little bit of skill. A technique, I should say. We're actually going to come out of here with a shotgun. What was that? Okay, I think we're good. Happy campers. Okay. What's that up there? Just a rock? Okay. Hmm, more gunfire. Oh, so it looks like the emission created. Hello? Just going to be a bit careful in this area. Can contain cats. And I really hate cats. Let's see. I reckon that was the zombies they were fighting in the last episode. I think we looted them, I'm pretty sure. I'm always really wary about coming around these bushes. I'm just charging straight through because you usually wind up. Yeah, there we go. You usually wind up inside an anomaly, and that's really not where you want to be. Really not good. So these guys have done some culling for us, which is cool. It's probably what's going on up here, I'd say. Let's check it out. Why? It's all dead, man. They're all dead, Dave. Yeah, what's going on? So who is this up here? Yes. Who is shooting? Is this... This makes me nervous. We've already been down there, so I don't see any reason to go back down there. Forget that. Hell no. Здорово. Здорово. And we'll save just for good measure. Ну рассказывай давай. Oh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, we have a few things. Ideally, what we want to do is take all of this stuff back up to the technician, just north. Uh, especially this stuff. This is what we're really after. This will come in handy. Uh, we definitely want to break that down. I think for now, we're just going to turn in this stuff for Sid. Why is he still pointing his gun? What's going on? 
be cool. But, uh... I mean, if there's anything up here, Wolf would be going nuts at the moment. So I think we're good. Where was that task before, dude? <laughs> here they all come. Okay. Alright, we got some companions back again. Uh, what do we got here? Looks like a Mosin. What do you got? Turn around. I said turn around, boy. Ooh. Okay, he's got a shotgun. Alright, they're cool. They will definitely be helpful. But they can also definitely stay up here. Alrighty. Yes, give me the monies. Is that all? Really? No, yeah, I thought I would have got more for that. Hmm. Okay. Sure. I get the picture. I don't think we want to go to the Wild Territory. It's... Oh, they're really pushing us to the Wild Territory. No. Forget it. We have enough tasks here. Alright, you two gents can follow me. He's a uh, good lad. You point yeah, yeah. That is one deadly tree right there. You got him covered though. I believe. I believe in you. Watch him. Watch him real close. No привет. Не болой. Оружие спрячь. This APS is in pretty good condition. I mean, it's... Mm, you know, barely. It's a bit of a hit inaccuracy in handling, so I think we're going to stick with the fort. No batteries. We don't really need to be carrying bolts at this point. Are you talking? Shush. Going to get rid of all of the mutant bits. We have a plan for those. All in good time. Do we want to eat the baked beans now? How hungry are we? Oh my god. Really? <laughs> he was talking to me the whole time. I was ignoring him. What faction is he? I'm pretty sure he's a free stalker. Like my reputation's my reputation's not that bad. Yeah. Huh. Okay. All right. I think we got everything else covered. I think. Uh... Yeah, I think that'll do us for now. Let's see. Where we need to go, and what we need to do. Okay, so we've got a career mission over here again. Pretty common area to get the career mission, um, at the vehicle station. And, uh... Yeah, okay, so it looks like we may have to go up to those cats after all. God damn it. I really didn't want to. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to rescue this guy. Then we're going to head up and eliminate this mutant. And if the cats are still alive, we'll head over there and take them out too. Because if we bring the courier with us, it'll give us a decent sized party. That's the theory anyway. Watch me bollocks this up. Get out of the way. What are you doing? Where's the other guy? Hello? Um... Where is he? Where did he go? Where 
is this guy? Is this guy my companion? No, surely not. Where did the other guy go? No, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Stalker. You gonna follow me this time? Yep, here we go. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> what is up with that run? Oh my god. Uh, you're going to be more comedic relief than help, aren't you? Okay, we got some fleshes running around south. We'll just we'll keep a loose eye on those guys. I want these guys to fire at will if they see anything nasty, but I don't want things to get out of hand, so we'll see where it takes us. Still got the grenade, yep, good. And I'm a thirsty camper again. Oi! What are you doing? You nearly shot me. What are you... What have you... What have you seen? What on earth were they shooting at? Are you for real? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Oh great. I got a guy that's shooting at ghosts. Hmm. Starting to reconsider how helpful they might be. Come on, buddy. Alright, well... Stop. We are definitely going to save here. Because there is no way in hell I'm going down there. I think that's what they were shooting at before. I just couldn't see it. Did they kill it? There's one down there. They didn't kill that one. Um. Oh. Yeah. Did they? Did they shoot a guy there? I think they just aggroed the camp. Oh, man. Was it just one guy? Was it just one guy? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so we got a chance to take a hostage here. If he doesn't... Uh, <laughs> Oh, we had a chance to take a hostage, and then El Psycho over here shot him. Thanks, dude. <laughs> could have been worse, he could have shot us. Which was completely on the cards. Like... Yeah, so that's plus 13. This is a plus 3. I think... I think we may actually take this. I'll take that too.
Anything that will help us with our carry capacity is definitely worth it. At least until we can find a backpack. Yep, okay. Can I? Thanks. So, kind of like before, these guys are, I reckon they're bugged. Are they in the same place? Where are they? I'm just going to stumble across them. That's a dude. He may not be guarded. Like, at all. Yeah, I, th I think we're good. I... Come with me if you want to leave. Okay. I would like to go back through the bridge, but I've got a sneaking suspicion it'll probably be occupied. So, I think what we're going to try and do... Promising. Okay. That's the helmet we dropped last time. So this would be a good opportunity to just chuck some more stuff in our stash. We've got a few things. Just a few things. Don't worry too much about your companions and um, anomalies. They're, um, they're immune because their AI is a little bit shifty. And so making them immune was the easiest way for the devs to, <laughs> to make sure that stalkers wouldn't just blindly walk into anomalies and get themselves killed. Otherwise, the zone would be a very empty place indeed. I think we're good. I think we're good. Bandits haven't taken control again. Always nice to see. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I didn't realize we had a hand watch. Um, we can sell that. That's just that you can't break that down. You can't do anything with it. It's just... Actually, you can break that down. What can you break that down into? I didn't even realize. Nah, that's not even worth it. We'll get plenty of shovels and stuff if we want. Um, scrap and fasteners and whatnot. We don't really need to rely on valuable items like this because this will sell for a decent money. Yep, that's nothing to sneeze at. We'll take that. Definitely. No more matches again. Patch, I'll let you. 
одну фотку, две ночные фотки. Hmm. Если так и дальше пойдет, в гробу я видал ваш хваленый клан. All right. We have a couple of locations to check out. Given how close this one is, I think we might just head north first. Because I, I really want to get that one out of the way if the cat messes us up. At least we can come back and heal a bit. Lick our wounds. These boys should be able to take care of things, but... I see you. Up there. Here we go. Here we go. Shit, there's two of them. Three of them? Okay. Cool. We'll take all the kitty bits. Man, zombified stalkers are killing everyone. We could actually head up there and see if there's any loot because... I mean, they'd be carrying weapons and gear and... And we've just taken care of the cats, so... Oh, they're still going. <laughs> they're still going. Let's see... Let's see if the zombified stalker kills anything else. Because if it does, we might as well go up. No, no death report. Okay. So, that probably means that the bandit's finished off the zombified stalker and he's going to be heading back in this direction. Which is fine. It means we can kind of, we can collect him at a later date. And he wanders back this way. Being careful because everything's... Things are repopulated again. Yeah, see there's his bandit buddy just looting his friend. Such a good friend that one. does mean that we could wait in ambush for this guy. Why? 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 Yeah, because we don't have much rad protection, I mean, early on, radiation just sticks around like a bad smell. So, we're going to get rid of it the Soviet way. The Sumvodkia. Alright. Here comes the bad guy. He's stuck in place. Is he stuck in place? He is. Oh, we're getting out of the way because they're going to shoot us. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, that happens. That happens. But we'll take it because it swings the other way too. Um, okay. When the screen goes fuzzy, I get a bit nervous. Could have had a friend. Come on. We'll take that. Can you go away? Man, these guys. Alright, you know what? All of you. Out. Out. Oh, I remember this bug. Out. Come on. I don't know what these guys are doing, but I've had these guys stuck here before. I don't know what's so fascinating about a massive wall of rubble, but they love the stuff. Look at them. This guy's not so happy. Okay, 
Got some stuff. Charcoal to um, to cook meat, which we should be able to do now. At least um, some of the lower level, lower tier meats. Are you guys gonna follow me? You gonna hello? Yeah, do you see that? Do you see the way they just bugged? Man, that's that's just wacky. I keep forgetting to come over here and check it out. So we might do that maybe in the next episode. Ah. We'll take that. Even though there's nothing in it, destroying all of the crates will get us that uh, achievement. Uh, which will increase our chances in the future, so... Still worth destroying the crate, just in case. Coming. Oh, there's only... oh my god. Oh boy. That's a huge patch of radiation, that's massive. And where are the other two? Hello? Where did they go? Is it them? It's them. There's them over there. What are they doing? He's coming. Man. It's hard to find good help these days. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. You know it. Military up ahead? No, I don't think so. So, the absence of the military up here is pretty abnormal. Especially for so long. What's this down here? Am I just, am I seeing things? Black mark down there. That's strange. I'm gonna keep an eye out for this bandit too because he should be he should be sauntering down this highway any time now. He may even try to take over the farm. I mean, it wouldn't be the smartest thing to do, but. You might try. Alright. Gonna offload that. We'll offload these. Um, it's tempting to keep the glucose shot because it will it will give you um, it will decrease your hunger. Uh, and it weighs pretty well next to nothing, you know, compared to, you know, 0 0.02 kilograms versus 0.34. And we kind of need that space now. Yep, we'll take it. Um, do I want to get more rounds? Probably not. I think we're just going to turn in the quest for these guys, earn a bit of cash, and be on our way. What was he roasting then? Like a block of spam or like cheese or something? Watch out for the electro. One thing I forgot to check. Uh, we actually have an armor slot free, so if we found something equipable, some armor, we could put it in there. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Not usually likely this early on, but um, anything's possible. What's that up there? Is that like a stump? Yeah, okay.
Uh, okay. You scared the crap out of me. Who are you? Just your friendly stalkers. Okay. Okay. No Good job. Yet. Good job, my friend. Mm. Something like that. Oh. We've got a huge party, so we're... <laughs> Can you... Come back. Come on. You've been hunting already. Haven't you had enough fun? Come on. Let's not... Let's not mess around. Let's just get this done. Okay. Yep, everyone's still coming. You've got to check. Kids these days don't know how to follow directions. running into an anomaly. So hard to tell. Yes. And yes. And yes. <laughs> okay. We have... We have some cash. I think... Now would be a good spot to end the series. Sorry, the episode. Don't want to end the series, we've barely even started. Oh, we've we used up most of the cigarettes we got. We've still got a couple of swigs of vodka, but um, I completely forgot we had this. And I'm pretty sure we can't use it on these. Yeah, these are small bore. Hmm. Well, we achieved one of our objectives this episode. We found a better set of armor, so we can now carry more things. Which is nice. Carry weight's gone up, which is cool. Uh, but we still really, really need that basic... Um, that basic toolkit. I mean, without that, we can't, we can't craft anything. Uh, I suppose we could try with the advanced tools and the expert tools, but usually those things are reserved for upgrading... Um, existing items so you know making better versions of them like a better PDA or, a, or an advanced headlamp that has night vision stuff like that and that's just not going to be possible for us without basic tools because we need to be crafting the very first thing in that chain oh well such is life all right our companions are gone everyone else is gone Got a weird ecologist guy walking through our base. And I'm going to save. So, thank you all very much for watching. If, you, uh, if you're if you enjoying yourself, if you're getting some information from this series, if you think it's helping in any way, just drop me a comment and let me know. I always appreciate um, a bit of feedback. And if you, if you think you sort of like where the direction this is going, um, maybe even consider subscribing. Well, thank you all very much, and... Uh, Bye-bye.